Hi guys, it's Christine. How are ya? I just wanted to show you a card I was working on. So I'm going to do two parts because, of course, I don't know. I don't have software to change things and pause and everything. So I just wanted to go over what stamps I used in the material. So this is my... Nothing's glued down, so... This is my card. And so I used the Whimsy Stamps. Winter Fairy, and this is a video response for um, Jamie's um, Jamie Not Too Shabby Shops uh, Scrap and Stamper here on YouTube. She's having a she's doing a call for um, designers um, so to join her team and I think guest designer spaces or whatever. So anyway, I got the stamp set at Jamie's. And I love her. She looks so much. Sorry for the glare. Let's see. Let me take it out of the package. I guess it's going to glare. Um, there you go. This is, she looks just like my niece Kiara. And today is Kiara's birthday. How ironic is that? But this is the Winter Fairy by the Whimsy Stamps. And then I used all my colored my watercolor uh, actually i use my portfolio color pencils these are the ones i use they're not great but i've used them for a long time with the gamasol and i've been using gamasol for many years now it's almost done my bottle and so um i'll move these out of the way the card base i created on my cricut um and it is the Elegant Edges cartridge, and it doesn't have a card feature, but what I did was I cut two pieces of this doily. And then, I don't know if this is even working. This is the new angle of the camera. Um, and I cut two pieces, and then I glued them right here to the shadow feature. So what I'm going to do is layer it. When I glue it down and the card will open up this way. I wanted to do a round card for this. This is a holiday card. so. And then my little girl. I colored her. And I gamma sawed her. I'm really good with my gamma saw and my color pencils. Better than my Spectrum Noirs and my Copics. So I colored her up. I put red stickles. This is called, this is Sparkle Garnet by PSX. And then I used, actually this is what I'm going to use next, the glitz stickles. I'm going to stickle all around this in gold because, let's see what else I did on it. I put these pieces right here, these red ones right here. These are, can you see that? They're really pretty. These are the um, the Prima. These are really old. I bought them like 2009. And they're called the Sultan Gem Burgundy by Prima Flower Centers. And they came in this package. And I had two packages of them. I love them so much. I bought a second package. And I hoarded them for a while. But they're almost gone. And this one, this... Brad is going to be in the center, and that's from K and Company. And then I use this, I stamped this little sentiment, it says, Life is Tweet. And that sentiment is from Life is Tweet, and it's uh, close to my heart. Stamp set. And if you can't see that, I don't know. I will give you information if you need it. And then I'm going to do the inside with the other stamp set from Close to My Heart, which is Stay in Style. Stay in Style, sorry. 
and then I'm going to use this one for the inside of the sentiment. I'm going to use the joy from the joyous stamp right there. And then what else did I use? I used these treasure shabby sh chic gems that um, I triple dog dare you um, Lydia sent me. I love them. They're so pretty. They match it so perfectly. And I think that's all. And the Kate and Company Brad was from the Kiss collection. These are really old and I that's my last one. I love that one. Anyways, um and then I used some trim. This is some trim that Lydia gave me. And this is my um, Webster's Pages trim. It's like a gold metallic, really pretty trim. So I'm going to put those along the bottom edge of the card. And so I'll be back for the second video. And this red ribbon that I'm going to use, it's red and gold. It's just a little, I don't know, I think I bought this at um, Walmart or something. So I will be back um, to show you the finished card. Just want to show you her coat. It looks like it's puffy, right? I did some gray um, with the Gamasol to give it kind of like a shadow. There you go. And I love the way it came out. So anyway, yeah, I'm better with my pencils and my Gamasol. I think I'll stick to that for a little bit too. Um, and so I always do vintage, so I'm like a vintage kind of kind of person. So anyway, stay tuned for the second video so you can see my finished card, okay? Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.